Moscow. September 28, 1972. The deciding game of what began as a hockey series is at a standstill. With this eight-game journey bringing two nations to the brink of unthinkable acts, everyone knows there is more at stake than finally being recognized as the world's best in hockey. Everything is on the line. On the other side of the world, an entire country is also at a standstill, watching game eight together, sharing the belief that as will finds its way, heart and character shall do the rest. At no other time has Canada been united in such a way. The air in the Moscow arena here is tense as we get ready for this eighth and final game of the series. So if you've been writing the script, it couldn't have produced a more dramatic and exciting final. Tonight we are making hockey history. Emotions. Were, were high. We played with such intensity, it was like war. Our motivation became Canada against Russia, democracy against communism, the Cold War. As the seconds tick down, the game is expected to end in a tie. Team Canada is informed the Soviets will claim victory because they have scored more goals in the series, 32 to 30. Here, at the end of 27 astounding days, there is time for one more moment to define the heart and character of Canadian hockey. Canadian team went into a hot player, which seemed to be a little unusual. 102 left in the game. Stapleton, he cleared to the open way to Cornwallier. Cornwallier took a shot, the defenseman fell over, the African. And the Cornwallier has it on that way. Here's a shot! Henderson made a wild stab for spell. Here's another shot! The celebration of this moment endures for decades. Virtually everyone alive at this time has a story, claiming their personal piece of Canadian history. The achievement is recognized as one of Canada's greatest. The players begin to have a new awareness of what it all means to their country. <laughs> 